Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, got a real treat for you. We got game four of the series between the 89 Royals and the 68 Orioles. Now, as you may be aware, and I've recapped this in other videos uh, about this series, but this is an extremely close series. Right now, the... Uh, two teams are, um, the Royals are ahead in the series two games to one. In real life, the Royals won 92 games and the 68 Orioles won 91. And all three games so far have gone, um, have been decided by one run. So today, the uh, Kansas City Royals are visiting Baltimore. We are in Baltimore for the second consecutive game. And if the Royals win this game, they advance to the next round. If the um, Orioles win, then they will force, force a fifth game. So, uh, with that having been said... Let's get started. The lineups will be the same as they were last game. And on the mound today for the Baltimore Orioles will be Tom Phobos. And he will be pitching to Willie Wilson to lead it off. And that's a 4-8, which is a walk. So Willie Wilson leads off by getting aboard. And he will try to steal so stealing A, that's a 12, so he isn't thrown out. Doesn't matter who the catcher is. And uh, let's see, we got to make sure we get that recorded for Phobos. Kevin Seitzer gets a 6-4, which is a ground ball second base C. So that will move uh, Wilson over to third. That brings up George Brett, and George Brett gets a 4-8, which is a walk. Second walk issued this inning already. Brett is aboard. Walk for Phobos. Bo Jackson gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball, shortstop A to the short, or yeah, shortstop. And the infield was not back. For the Orioles, so that is two outs and uh, the end of the inning. So the Royals do come away with no runs in that inning. There we go. And now we will go to the bottom of the inning. And Paul Blair will be facing Luis Aquino of Kansas City. He gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball to third base, one away. The Royals have been very good at shutting this uh, very high-powered 68 Orioles def or offense down. Uh, Buford gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Royals is Kurt Stillwell, and he's a 3. That's an 8, probably going to be an out, and it is. So that's 2 away. Buford retired. And that brings up Frank Robinson, and he gets a 2-5, which is a walk. So he gets on by a walk. That's the first man allowed on by Aquino, who did pitch in the previous series in round one for the Royals. Boog Powell is up, and he gets a 5-7, and that is a ground ball to the second baseman. Second baseman is Frank White, and he's a two. That's a three and a two, and that is an out. So Boog Powell is retired, and they get no run. And we go to the top of the second. Okay. 
do up this inning will be Eisenreich, Tartable, and McFarland. Eisenreich gets a 4-8, which is a walk. Phobus is walking a lot of guys. Eisenreich aboard. He hasn't, however, allowed any hits yet. Tartable comes up. He gets a 1-7, which is a home run one or a fly ball to left field. It goes way back, but it's caught by the left fielder Robinson for one out. McFarlane is up. He gets a 6-10. That is a fly ball to center. The center fielder is Paul Blair, and he's a 2. That's a 2. 2 and 2 is an out. So McFarlane is out. And up steps Frank White. He gets a 310, which is a single, and that is the first hit of the game. And the Royals have two runners on with two out. And still well up, and he gets a 4-9. And that is a single one to 18. And it is. But it's a one asterisk, so runners have to hold where they are. Only one base advance on that. And it's another hit for the Royals. And that brings up Willie Wilson at the top of the order for 11 is a ground ball to the first baseman. That is Boog Powell, and he is a 5. Not good news. Not at all right there. That is an... But it is. It's an out with no runners on, so Boog Powell makes the play. Willie Wilson is retired, and the Royals come away. Although with two hits and a walk, they still fail to score a run. And so we go to the bottom of the second. And that brings to the plate um, Davy Johnson. And he gets 5 9, which is a strikeout, one away. It's amazing how the, um, the lineup for the Orioles has been shut down. Davey Johnson gets a 2-5 strikeout, two away. And Kurt Bluffery gets a 4-5. And that is a ground ball to the second baseman. Bluffery is out. We go to the top of the third. Top of the third for the Royals, or in the third, to lead off the third inning, will be Seitzer, George Brett, and Bo Jackson. And the Orioles got nothing there. And we're in the top of the third. 6 3 is a ground ball to first, and Seitzer is out. That brings up George Brett. 310 is a ground ball to the pitcher, and he is retired by Phobos. And Bo Jackson. Bo knows, and he gets a double one to 15 or a single. That will be a double. So Bo rips a double down the left field line. Third hit allowed by Phobos. So far he's been able to avoid allowing runs off of the hits. And that's a 5-5, which is a strikeout. And Eisenreich is struck out by Phobos. Which, that is only his first strikeout of the game. We go to the bottom of the third.
and Baltimore coming up. And Brooks Robinson will be the first batter to face Aquino. He gets a 1-6, which is a double 1-5 to five or a single. And that is a single. So Brooksy gets a hit. Gets the Orioles on the board with a hit, at least, but not any runs yet. And that breaks up the no-hitter for Aquino with Merv... Oh, no, not Merv Redman. Uh, Mark Belanger is up. And he gets a 6-7. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 3. That's still well. That's a 9. 9 and a 3 at short is an out double play. So they get two outs on that, one by Belanger, and up comes Paul Blair with a 2-12, which is a ground ball shortstop, and he is out. And we will go to the top of the fourth. Tartable is up, 3-11, that's a walk. Bobus has walked a lot of guys today. Four walks already. McFarland's up. He gets a 5-9, which is a triple 1-2 to two or a single double asterisk. And that will be a single double asterisk. McFarland ripping a hit. The un, uh, you know, the last guy you would expect would get the hit. And with no outs, too. So they the Royals have runners at the corners, no outs. It's still relatively early, top of the fourth. So the, um, let me yeah, fix that. So the uh, Orioles will keep the infield back. For Frank White, he gets a 3-9. That's a single, and it drives in one run. So the Royals take the lead on a key hit by Frank White and an RBI. Fifth hit allowed by Phobos and the first earned run. And Stillwell is up at the plate. He gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. One away. Willie Wilson up. He gets a 4-2, which is a ground ball to the pitcher B, which will move the runner to third from second, but the batter is the one that's safe at first, and there, there was an out at second on the fielder's choice. So two down, runners at the corners, sights are up, 6-6 six, six is a fly ball to right. So the Orioles do give up a run. They're actually probably pretty lucky that that's all that happened. But they are still very much in this game with Don Buford up at the plate, 5-6, that's a single. Second hit for the Orioles. Frank Robinson is up and he gets a 4 4, which is a single one to 10. And that will actually be a line out to first. So there's one away. Boob Powell at the plate. He gets a 3 9. That's a strikeout away. Third strikeout for Aquino in this game, and Davey Johnson's up. He gets a 5-9. That is a strikeout.
surprising that the Orioles didn't even shuffle the lineup or anything for this game. You would think maybe they would have done that, considering how um, much trouble they had scoring against Kansas City. And that is continuing in this game. George Brett is up at the plate. He gets a 3-9, which is a walk. And Phobos with the, the fifth free pass of the game. Bo Jackson gets a 6-8, and that's a fly ball to right. That's one away. Jim Eisenreich is up. He gets a 5-10, which is a walk. Another walk. Those free passes are going to come back to kill um, Phobos, potentially. Eisenreich with the walk. Sixth one. Issued by Phobos. Tartable's up. He gets a 4-3. That is a fly ball to left. The left fielder is a 3. That's Frank Robinson. And that is going to be a 13. 13 and 3 is an out 4. So that's 2 away. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Two down, two on, and McFarlane up, and he gets a 4-11. And that is a ground ball to the first baseman. That is Boog, though, and he's a 5. That's a 16 and a 5. And that's going to be an out as well. So he makes two unlikely plays um, on ground ball Xs that you wouldn't have expected he would make. And the, and the uh, Orioles are now up in the bottom of the fifth. They're still in this thing. It's only one nothing Royals. But the Royals can close it out if they win today. Bleffery up. He gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is out. Frank Robinson gets a 5-4. That's going to be a catcher, or that's going to be a fly ball center. Center fielder is a 2. That's Willie Wilson. That is a 13, likely an out, and it is. And Mark Belanger up, and he gets a 6-9, and that is a pop-out to the shortstop. No runs in the fifth. And we are going to the top of the sixth. And Royals fans can smell it in the air that they're going to be going to the next round. But let's see if that happens. Frank White up. 2-8 is a ground ball to short. He's out. I mean, it's not like Phobos has pitched terribly, but he has walked too many men. Kurt Stillwell is up. He gets a 2-3, which is a pop-out to short. And that brings up Willie Wilson to the top of the order. 2-7 is a double 1-7 to seven or a single. And he will stop at first. He gets a single. With two outs, they aren't going to risk him trying to steal second. Sights are up. He gets a 1-4, which is a walk. Again, the bugaboo... For Phobos, that's the seventh walk that he's issued. And George Brett comes up, and he gets a 111, which is a pop-out to second plus injury. And that's a 13, so we're gonna, that's the last we're going to see of George Brett, at least for this series. And so, they are, the Royals are retired, but they need another first baseman. Is that right? Yes. And the fir new first baseman will be Pat Tabler. And 
right, he is a first base four, so we will keep that in mind going forward. Although the Royals came up with nothing there. And we are now in the bottom of the sixth. Paul Blair up. He gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout. Buford gets a 1-7, which is a walk. It's rare that in this game that the, the Orioles even get people on base by any method. One down, one on, Frank Robinson up. He gets a 6-11, which is the ground ball first base C. That moves the runner to uh, second. And brings up Boob Powell. And he gets a 4-4, which is a single one to 10. And that is a single. And another hit for the Orioles, but only their third one. Uh, Aquino gets a hit. Davy Johnson gets a 6-6. And that is a fly ball to left. And Davy Johnson is retired. And Aquino is pitching a masterful game here. Masterful. Although, really, the Royals pitching has done a very good job of shutting down the Orioles. Bo Jackson is up in the um, top of the seventh. That's a 6-7, which is a strikeout. One away. Bo knows that he's out. Jim Eisenreich gets a 5-4. That's a catcher card. Catcher is Echebaron, and he is a 3. That is a 12. Roll of 12 and 3 is a pass ball, followed by foul out. So that's 2 down. Eisenreich retired. And Tartable up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a single. Another hit for the Royals. And Mike McFarlane up. He gets a 2-11, which is a home run 1-4 or a double. And that is going to be a double. And that's Eisenreich. He's a 1-15 to running. They're going to send him. They need the insurance run, and they do get it. So McFarlane has been a thorn in the butt right here in this game. Oh, that was in the... All right. All right, well, I recorded it. Yeah, it's supposed to be the top of the seventh. I recorded it in the wrong inning, but I'm not going to try to fix it because um, the uh, I, I may end up messing the whole thing up. So um, Frank White is up with a man at second, and that is a 6-3. And that will be a first a ground ball to first, and he's out. So that ends up being the last out, and we go to the bottom of the seventh. Bleffery is up. Of course, Aquino is still out there because he's just pitching a masterful game. You don't want to take a chance on putting in relief, even if it's great relief, and then having them give up the tying run. Kurt Bleffery is up. He gets a 6-7. That is a ground ball shortstop. They're probably going to wait for any trouble. And that is a 6-3 at short. And the shortstop is a 3. Probably an out. And it is. 
Bluffery is retired. Brooks Robinson gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball to third, and he's out. And Belanger comes up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball to center, and he is retired. So, no runs for the Orioles. We go to the top of the eighth. And the Royals are winning by the slimmest of margins and really outplaying the um, Orioles as well. Kurt Stillwell is up in the top of the eighth. He gets a 5-11, which is a home run one or a double. That'll be a double. Kurt Stillwell. That's another hit yet again for the uh, Orioles. And um, they are going to, the Orioles are going to get some action up in the bullpen. Pete Richard is going to be up in the Orioles pen. And Willie Wilson is going to sacrifice with no outs in the inning. And that's a two. That's going to move the runners. Actually, that may actually run them. Batter beats out bunt runners advance one base. So it goes down as a hit. And now the Orioles have to bring the infield in. They have no choice. Kevin Seitz are up. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball right field B. That'll score the runner at third. And the Royals take a 3 to nothing lead. Seitz are with the RBI. Phobos with the earned run. And they will bring in Richard. So Phobos goes um, seven and a third. Is that right? Yes. Seven and a third. He gives up nine hits. Strikes out seven, but gives up three runs. Pat Tabler is up. He's replacing Brett, who was injured earlier. 6-8, and that is a single one to 14. And that's actually going to be a line out to second. So Tabler is erased, two away, and Bo knows, Bo is up, he gets a 6-9, and that's a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Belanger, and he is a two. That's a nine, and a two at shortstop. That might be something. It is. It's a one base error by um, Belanger. Bo getting on by a Belanger, an, un, uh, an uncharacteristic Mark Belanger error. And two on with two out, and Eisenreich up, and he gets a 4 5, and that's a ground ball, second base C. So Eisenreich is retired, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. The Orioles really have got to get it together, and they got to get it together quickly because Aquino has been shutting them down, and we're very late in the game now. Paul Blair is up. He gets a 5-7, which is a second base X. Second is a 2. That's Frank White. That is a 10. 10 and 2 is an out. So Blair is retired. Buford gets a 6-10. And that is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And Frank White's up and he gets a 5-5. And that is a line out. Frank Robinson. Well, the Orioles are only going to have at, um, one more chance.
to try to tie the game. Still not out of the realm, but it is getting late. We go to the top of the ninth. Tartable up against Richard. He gets a 2-4, which is a fly ball to center. Tartable retired. McFarland gets a 6-9. That is a ground ball to short. He is a 2. That is a 19. That's probably another, yes it is, an error, another error by Belanger. Allowing McFarland to get on. Again, he has been a fire in their face. And that's another error in both by Belanger. Frank White up. He gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout, two away. And Stillwell gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. So the Royals get nothing there. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. And Boog Powell will lead it off for the Orioles. He gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to right field. He is out. Davey Johnson gets a 6-4. That is a single. So they do get another hit. Davey Johnson getting it. But that is only the fourth hit. Fourth hit. And there's already an out, and they still need three runs just to tie. Kurt Bleffery up. He gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. That's two away. Brooks Robinson. It's all up to Brooks Robinson to save the Orioles um, season. He gets a 5-5. And that is a line out to third base. And he is retired. And that's a complete game win for Aquino, who pitched brilliantly. And uh, the Orioles came away with nothing there. And they lose the game. The Royals win it with three runs on nine hits and no errors, while the Orioles managed only four hits, no runs, and committed two errors, both by their shortstop, their short-handed shortstop, Mark Belanger. And so the 89 Royals will move on to the next round and the 68 Orioles will go home. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.